I think we were all pretty disappointed with finishing second in the conference, and we could have got down on ourselves, and we did for a little while. But then as a team, we kind of all came together and thought, you know, we could still manage to do something special this year. And we, uh, we ended up playing really well, won the NIT, and just trying to use that momentum to kind of propel us into this year and hopefully have a great year. Uh, it was an incredible experience. A lot of memories were made that guys will never forget. And then just playing against all the, the bigger schools that we did in that tournament, I just think it, uh, it really made guys focus and realize like how hard it is uh, to win in the postseason. Yeah, losing JT is going to hurt some. Uh, it also, it's not the worst thing though, because it opens up opportunities for a lot of other guys. And we're still just trying to learn how to play without him, because we have the same core group of guys with him and Aaron Ellis and Gabe Blair and Grant Hatch for the last three years. So this year is completely different for a lot of us. This is the first time I've ever played college basketball without him. But we're just trying to learn and get better every day this year. We were pretty consistent at the beginning of conference last year, and then we struggled in the second half. But uh, as long as we have a consistent effort and mindset, I think we'll be doing we'll do just fine. Yeah, we went on an international trip to Brazil. Nice. We went to Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro. And that was really cool, just to kind of bond with all our, we got nine new guys. So to bond with all our new guys, and it was a very cool experience. First time I've ever been to South America.